Abraham Lincoln did not free the enslaved. The enslaved freed themselves. For decades, historians have argued for the agency of black Americans in securing their own liberation during the Civil War. But time and time again, Lincoln is touted by his most well-known monikers, the Great Emancipator or Savior of the Union. His entire presidential legacy is often summarized in an easy one-liner, Lincoln freed the slaves. In America, slavery died a painful death on the ground. During the Civil War, enslaved people did not wait for white liberators. They watched many of their slaveholders leave to fight, and so they left for freedom. Enslaved people by the hundreds of thousands ran away to Union lines and northern cities to escape their bondage. Their massive migration forced the nation to place the end of slavery on the national political agenda. Lincoln is perhaps one of the few presidents who require constant revisiting because black leaders, abolitionists, and political activists who persuaded Lincoln to transform the nation have not been properly centered. We have looked for abolition in all the wrong places. Freedom did not come from the White House or Congress. Black people were not given freedom. They forced freedom to become a national mandate. When the Civil War finally ended, Lincoln admitted, I claim not to have controlled events, but confess plainly that events have controlled me. In the end, Lincoln's dilemma was not reuniting the Confederacy to America. It was getting white Americans, himself included, to relinquish their allegiance to white supremacy. This dilemma remains for every president elected to office. What to do with white people? The myth of whiteness as supreme is such a fully formed identity in America that neither the North nor the South has been able to renounce their commitment to racial domination. During Reconstruction, something incredible happened. Black Americans went from being enslaved to elected officials. Black Americans built schools, public health departments, roads and infrastructure, charitable institutions for the elderly and mentally ill. They cultivated land, created banks, and managed to invest their money in their own communities. The dilemma has never been black people's capacity to survive and succeed. The dilemma is white people's ability to accept black humanity and forfeit the myth of their supremacy.